this video will show you three things that you agree to before you were born into your life. I'm going to share with you these concepts that you can remember so that you can literally start to remember yourself to the full part of who you prefer to be. Welcome back to another video. My name is Aaron and I help people expand their consciousness. Now in this video, we're gonna be talking about the three things that you can remember about yourself, three things you agreed to before you came into this life that will help you understand more about how to navigate through your life experience. Now, the first one has to do with forgetting who you are in the larger aspect. So part of the purpose of life is that when we're born here, we forget that we are immortal spiritual beings. Now, maybe as a baby, we kind of remember that, but as we are conditioned growing up, that's something that many times we become more and more separated from. Then what we might do is from that separation, we might find ways of coping with that. Sometimes that emotion, that negative emotion that we feel growing up is that gap that we feel from who we really naturally are. And there's a couple purposes of this. The first purpose is that in order for us to really have an experience that we can learn from, we have to forget who we are. It's the idea that you're playing a video game and if you were to know that you're just playing a video game, you know, I might not take it serious, you might not really relate to it, but if when you're playing the video game you actually believe that that is who you are, then what happens is it's a very different experience. You actually relate to it. You actually learn from a deep level of experience. Now that's one of the purposes of that agreement that you made. That first off, or second off, you are an immortal spiritual being having a temporary human experience. And when you come here and you are conditioned growing up, you forget that that is who you are. And then things can become scary because there's all of these things that the ego is threatened by. We get threatened by death. We're threatened by judgment for others. We're threatened by all these negative emotions. And when we realize that in a way, those are all there to help us evolve. Those are all there for us to remind us who we really are. It then begins to change the whole script. Now, this is a personal belief of mine, but I believe that we choose our parents when we come into life. I I believe that from a higher level perspective, there are certain themes that we have in our life that we are meant to experience. And that from those themes, there are certain things that we can learn. So with that, it's most like, it's almost like our purpose of our life is to start to remember this about ourselves. Start to remember that we logged into this game of life in a metaphorical type way so that we could become more aware of who we really are and that we can really remember who we prefer to be. So this makes it so much easier because then we can start to relate to parts of our life that we don't prefer as much and see that it may have happened for a reason. Maybe some of the things, you know, a lot of people that come through and are watching this video or even have a spiritual awakening have been through a lot of pain early on in life. I know I went through a lot of pain growing up uh, just from especially like in my teenagers before I was like an adult that period of time for me was pivotal because it caused so much pain within me that it gave me the pressure for me to then go within and learn more about why things happened in my life. And the more I connected to it, the more I realized that that was something that I actually agreed to at a higher level because it allowed me to get to a place of awakening. So what you can begin to do is start to see certain things in your life in a way as guiding mechanisms that have allowed you to become the kind of person that you are. Maybe you become stronger from certain things that have happened. Maybe you become more definite on who you really prefer to be by seeing things of how you don't prefer to be. Now these are just examples, but the idea is that we agree to, before coming to, into this life, we agree to certain aspects of forgetting who we are so that we could go through the process of remembering these parts of ourselves so that we could remember that in a way we logged into this game and that we could start to have more fun with it. You know, I like the analogy that life is kind of like a game because when you have that, it's a much more fun process. It doesn't have to be this very serious thing and the ego is afraid of dying and all these things. At a fundamental core level, you will never really die. The ego may transcend itself or you may go on to a different form, but the idea is that you are an immortal spiritual being having a temporary human experience. You chose this life for a purpose reason. And if you're watching this video especially, you have the ability 
after your life to then choose who you prefer to be or to just reemerge with your higher self or a higher dimensional aspect, whatever we want to call it. And I believe that because with conscious awareness, we plug ourselves out of believing that we are our ego, that we are victims of any type of circumstance, and we can then consciously decide. Most likely if you're watching this video, you're aware that you have intention that you can put into your life and that you can change your life experience with that intention. And that also leaks into going beyond just our life experience. That's why awareness is such a powerful thing. Now, the second thing that we agree to when we came into this life is that meaning is something we give to everything in our life experience. Now, this is a beautiful thing. Some people get kind of scared with this because they realize how much power that they have over what they experience in their life because they choose how they relate to the outer circumstances. We choose what that barrier is. Now understand that anything you experience in your life is fundamentally neutral. It is only positive or negative if we decide that it is or if we decide that it isn't. It depends on the meaning we give it. Now. The way I see positive and negative is a little bit different than the conditioned way that we were meant to think about it. Positive, I mean in the sense of positive is anything that is integrative, anything that connects us back to our spirit or connects us back to truth. Anything that is very connective is positive. Negative is anything that is separative, anything that separates us from other people. Sometimes if we put labels on ourselves and we start to really emphasize the different between us and other people, that might create separation. That might create some type of negative experience because in essence, we are all connected. So anything that is separating, anything that is segregated from how we prefer to be is something that is negative. If we think that certain experiences in our life are negative, we are separating them from who we are. We are separating them from the natural essence of who we prefer to be and that gap many times will be resistance. So what I encourage you to do is to have a more positive outlook in life in the sense that what you do is you infuse the things that you happen with positive meaning. You integrate it. You allow it to be in your life. You accept it to be in your life. And as you do that, you will get a positive benefit from it. There's so many times in my life where negative things happened and I simply just decided that I was going to give it a positive meaning. And because I did that, positive effects came out of it. It's almost like as I give something positive meaning, I line up life tracks of things that are positive that could happen, but the same type of time, there are potentials of the negative side of things that, ha that could happen if I identified with that. So realize that in the same way, if I say the idea of a rainy day to many people, it might mean many different things. The idea is it has no built in meaning other than the meaning that we give it. I love rainy days because I'm from Las Vegas where it hardly ever rains. So I associate positive emotion with it. Somebody that's from Oregon or Seattle might not like rainy days because they're so used to it back home and they associate it with lack of vitamin D or whatever it is. And therefore they get a negative feeling from it. You see, it's a matter of perspective. And when we change our perspective, we allow it to be more integrative, more accepting of the process, more allowing the moment to be, that's when things really begin to transform. You give the meanings to, as to things in your life. That's something I believe that you agree to and that from that you're able to really gain your power back because you can decide where you want to go from here. Now the third thing that we agreed to before we came into this life has to do with the goal of our life in general. Now the goal could be to find more about who we are. Our goal could be to, you know, become more awake to who we are, to come more aware of purposes of who we are. But I believe that the main one out of all three of those is to become awake to who we are really meant to be, to wake up from this dream of life, to realize that we are immortal spiritual beings having temporary human experiences, and that as we become more aware of this whole process, we start to unlock ourselves out of what we could call the matrix. That's just an analogy, but it's an analogy that I think might have a lot of truth and merit to it. The idea is that as we become more aware of who we are, as we become more aware that our beliefs are creating our reality, as we become more aware that we can consciously decide our reality from the power of intention and, and the power of choice, that that's where things really begin to change. Awareness is the whole meaning of life. And if you're watching this video, then you already have a certain level of awareness because otherwise you may not be even attracted to this type of video. So the idea is that 
things are already happening for you. You are already becoming aware of who you are. You are already starting to really open up to these ideas and that's something that you agree to. I believe that there are also certain themes that people agree to. Now we have free will. I do believe that we have free will and that we can decide how things happen into our life. Now the way that I look at this analogy is that before we came into our life, there was a certain hallway that we said we're gonna walk down. Maybe it's the hallway of self-discovery, of sharing a message with people, that's my purpose. My purpose in life, I believe, is to travel around the world, to share these ideas with people, to become like a public speaker, and somebody that like, you know, is like a teacher in my field of what I love to talk about. That's something that I believe is my purpose. That is a hallway. Now, how I walk down that hallway is my free will. I could do it by making videos. I could do it by just expressing myself via vlogs like or blogs like writing I could do it by you know I could do it more subtly by you know expressing it in a different like non-direct way maybe by art whatever it is I had that ability to choose what that is but I believe that at a deeper level I chose to become a speaker I've always loved speaking I've always loved sharing ideas in this way and because I've always loved that I think that that's part of the hallway that I chose to walk down you may and some people have certain hallways they choose to walk down that are very much more general some people's life purpose might be to become a mother to become somebody that's very nurturing to her children that could be someone's life purpose. They might have other purposes with that. It might not just be one hallway we walk down, but the idea is that we chose to walk down this hallway, but how we choose to walk down this hallway is up to us. We could run, we could skip, we could jump rope, we could do whatever we want down this hallway. That's our free will, but go down this hallway we will. That's something that we agree to. I believe that also our emotions are tied to that hallway in a way. So I feel excitement when I'm creating videos. I feel excitement when I'm speaking in front of people and I'm doing workshops. I feel excitement when I do that. And I believe that that's because with that hallway, there's a certain level of excitement that kind of guides me to go in this direction, saying this is the direction of the hallway. This is your, you're doing the right thing. You're feeling that high vibe as you go down it. You are meant to do it. That's where I think the power is, is in knowing that we created certain themes before we came into life, that our experience of life and purpose of life is to wake up to who we already are, to wake up and remember this through the power of the awareness, and as we begin to do that, everything begins to change. Now, another part of this is understanding the power of the subconscious mind. Understand that our subconscious mind runs a great part of our life. That is something that we also agree to before we came into this life. If we want to influence the subconscious mind, we must do it through feeling and repetition. And that's why I created a free MP3 guided meditation that you can listen to every single day that will help you reprogram yourself to see yourself in a completely new way so that you change your self-image and you start to really get what you want in your life. That's something that you can download in the description box for free. It's something that can completely change the way that you see yourself. And it's something that I created because I just wanted to add that much value to you in that way. So with that being said, remember the three things that you remembered to before you came into this life. The first one was that you're an immortal spiritual being having a temporary human experience that you had to forget that that's who you are so that you could believe that the game is real. That secondly, all meaning in life is fundamentally neutral. We give the meanings as to what things mean and as we do that, we then experience either the positive effect, the integrative effect, or we experience the negative effect, the separative effect. It's all up to what we perceive and it's all up to what we imply. That thirdly, there's a certain hallway that we agreed to go down, that what we can do is begin to align with that, begin to follow the emotion of what that is is to understand that theme and that with this whole process the most important thing is the awareness we have for who we are as we become aware everything begins to change so with that being said I hope you guys enjoyed this video feel free to like this video if you liked it subscribe if you haven't already also hit that little notification gear so that you can see the daily videos that I do the way YouTube does things now is you actually have to hit that in order to see the daily videos and other than that I will see you guys on the next vid Peace, much love, namaste.